Hi, this is Greg from ASUS, and in this video, I want to take you through some of the audio features of our latest gaming motherboards and laptops, and the integrated software that you can use to get the most out of your gaming experience. So the first thing you notice when you open up the Sonic Studio software is that there's three tabs across the top. We're going to talk about the first one here first, Sonic Studio. And there's two modes, basic mode and advanced mode. We'll go through the basic mode first. And uh, on the top here, it shows you what audio device you're using. And you can go ahead and adjust the volume uh, up and down right there. Um, there's also an equalizer setting. So right now it's on none, but you can select through a few preset equalizer settings. Or you can go to custom, click this button here. And you can do a custom EQ setting for however you like it. So yeah, we'll just kind of do that. You can also reset it back to zero, hit OK. Now below that we have our Sonic Studio effects. You can turn those off and on globally right here. And uh, this is just kind of, there's some presets made for music, movies, gaming, communication. So you can select one of these and uh, you can also adjust some of the settings down here below for each one of these presets. Uh, smart volume, that adjusts the volume automatically. So uh, it, things that are quiet in whatever movie you're watching or game you're playing are a little louder. And things that are loud are a little bit lower. You can also change the strength of this. Below that we have voice clarity. Now this is kind of a boost for the uh, vocal range of the spectrum. So if you're watching a movie with a lot of dialogue or just like a game and you really want to be able to hear what the other characters are saying, you can turn this on uh, to boost the voice clarity. Uh, bass boost, pretty self-explanatory. It boosts the, the bass levels. Treble boost, same thing but for treble. And then there's reverb, and this will add kind of almost a slight echo to, to the audio uh, with a few different presets for, uh, to make it sound like you're in different types of spaces. And uh, this one, I usually, I find it's better on low. Once you get too high, it seems a little too extreme for me, uh, but uh, you, know, you can definitely play around with that and find a setting you like. Now below that is the surround setting. And uh, this setting, basically, if you, if you turn this on, let's say you're listening to a game or watching a movie with just headphones. If you turn this on, then it will create a virtual surround using just the two speakers. So even if you don't have a full surround sound setup, you can still get virtual surround with your headset or just a two-speaker setup. And of course, like we just went through and customized the movie setting. If you go into gaming, you can create a different setting for gaming and adjust that. It has a lot of the same settings. Uh, and then communication it only has a few settings, um, smart volume and uh, voice clarity. And it also has a different one, ambient noise reduction, uh, which will help to reduce ambient noise, uh, any background noise, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and reset everything to default. So advanced mode gives you a few more options to choose from. On the top here, you've got your device manager. And this will allow you to quickly change between different audio devices. Now in the past, if you wanted to change between an audio output, you would go ahead and right click on this icon here, select playback devices, and then choose your device here. So this kind of bypasses all that. As long as you have Sonic Studio open, you can just kind of click on whatever device you want. Now for the device, you can set up the uh, equalizer here. It's just like you can in basic mode, but you can do it here. And you can do a different setups uh, for different devices. And there's nothing plugged into these right now, so you can't really set those up. But one thing that we do have plugged in on the top here is a VR headset. So if we select the headset, so now we're using the headset audio. If we go back to basic mode, we see we get a little pop-up here that says we need to enable Sonic Studio Link. So we'll go ahead and enable that. And now we can adjust the settings just like we can on any other setup. So now if we go back to advanced mode, we can see we've got the Sonic Studio Link enabled. And we've got the equalizer settings here, um, custom here. We can still set up a customized um, EQ for your setup, which is new for Sonic Studio 3. This is the first time you've really been able to uh, go in and, and really adjust the audio settings for the VR headset. So moving on, we'll go ahead and go back to our regular headset speakers here. And uh, we'll go down to the bottom here with the Application Manager. So there are two settings under Application Manager, Device Routing and the Sonic Studio Effects. Um, and there's also, you can view all applications or just the current ones you're running. So um, let's go ahead and view all applications. And we'll go ahead and turn Device Routing on. Now what this does, once you start up one of these programs, you can select which audio device it uses. So right now, these are set to default. So whatever the default audio device is, it will automatically go to that. So right now our headset is the default audio device. But let's say with Discord, you always want to be using your headset. So, so we'll go ahead and select that. So every time we open up Discord, it will be routed to our headset. And then here, we can select 
one of the presets. So we want this to be the communication preset. Now that corresponds to the communication preset over on the basic page. So however you adjust that is how it's going to be set up over here. And you can also click on this icon here and adjust those settings. So if you don't want noise reduction, you don't have to use it. Um, or you can turn it on smart volume voice clarity. Um, you can also change the volume here. So now below that, we've got Google Chrome. Uh, let's say you've got a really nice home theater set up and you use Chrome to watch Netflix and uh, movies on Amazon, things like that. Well, you can set that up to be the digital output, and that's the um, optical output on the back of the computer here. Uh, now this one is actually is not, the EQ is not supported for this output, um, but with the optical out, it's kind of assumed that you're going to be going into a nice uh, home theater setup, and you could probably adjust the EQ on that. So yeah, then below that we've got uh, a specific game here, H1Z1. Uh, you can also set it up, we've got uh, Steam down here. So let's say on Steam you usually always game with your headphones. Well, we can go to that there, what's the headphones? Or if you play VR mostly, you can have it set up to be on Rift Audio. But you can also go in, like I was showing you before, you can go into specific games. So I've got H1Z1 installed on here, so we can set that up to be our speakers. And then... Uh, Want this to be gaming. So you can see these are both set up to the same output but with different EQ settings. So when I go into H1Z1 I've got the gaming EQ which I can adjust here. And then movies and TV, uh, this is a Microsoft program here, we can do the same thing and we can set that up for movie. So, so we've got the same output on all three of these but with different EQs. Now the next tab over is the recording studio. So now these are settings that you would adjust for your voice. Now below that we have Casting Enhancer. And this is for everyone out there who streams, whether you stream on Twitch or uh, YouTube Gaming or whatever. Um, let's say you use some software to help uh, you know, make your stream look better. If, if you use Overwolf, Bandicam, OBS, or XSplit, if you turn this on, that will apply all of these effects to your voice uh, before it gets streamed. So that was Sonic Studio 3, the latest version of the ROG audio software. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Oh. <sighs>